Hi, today I would like to show you a very simple configuration of the side-to-side -side VPN between a Cisco ASA Firewall and Cisco Router. Uh, as you can see, I am using uh, GNS3 and I am going to add a new router. A few side-to-side -side VPNs are already in place, but we can ignore them for now. We're going to add a new router and start from scratch. So let's try and connect router 10 to my switch. Okay, uh, that will be, let's say, 44. And uh, I am using a loopback interface to simulate a network that is behind my router. So that will be router uh, loopback 44. Let's start at this router. I put a template from router 7 so that will save uh, some time. I really recommend doing that by the way, just use a template. It's very very easy to miss something in a in a side-to-side -side VPN, so if you have a template, just change uh, an IP address or an access list and, and apply, it's much, much easier. Okay, but first we have to start with some uh, basic configuration, IP addresses, routing and so on. So that is F00. back interface static root check I can ping my ASA I can ping my ASA um, Let's ping my ISP, see uh, if it works, that's good. And uh, of course I cannot ping 192.168.99.100 using source loopback 44 because uh, there is no side-to-side -side VPN. Okay. So, it's, by the way, it's always good to check because sometimes you will create a side-to-side -side VPN and you head, yeah, it's working and it's just uh, routing, especially in a lab situation. So what I, sometimes what I do, I put an ISP and then I, I know I'm not able to ping it directly. So that's why, for instance, on my ASAs, I put NAT that will stop that from happening. So it's always a good idea to, to check before you set up a side-to-side. VPN, because you think sometimes you think, oh yeah, it's working, and well, it's not really, because it's uh, you were able to ping it before. Anyway, um, okay, so uh, let's look at my uh, template that I used for router seven and eight. So we've got our key ring. Uh, IP address is the same, so we can apply that guy. Maybe I will remove what I don't need. Um, apply everything. We've got our uh, IP phase 1, ISACOM profile, transform set, I'm using 3 dev, IPsec profile, um, I don't need to look back into phase, here I will have to apply my crypto map, you don't need this interface don't need a static root, I will need an access list and uh, maybe I will edit that one so I am coming from uh, 44 you saw a second line that was for a hub and spoke topology but we'll focus on a pretty basic configuration here don't need anything here ok, uh, and of course nothing here that should be the trick Okay, now what I recommend doing, first of all you should see this message, that's always a good sign, 
But now, before we go and uh, set up on the ESA, try and do a debug crypto ISACA and try and ping it. 192.168.99.100.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
static static okay that is my not exempt tool from inside to VPN IPS3 keep my source and destination IPs okay about now now it's good show crypto ice account SA okay as you can see that's what we tried and it failed yeah QMI though that's good okay and uh, another command show crypto IPsec SA okay that will show you that we can see some packets being encrypted and decrypted okay so every time we ping you will see more and more packets here okay thank you very much